Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous couple of videos, we have covered how we can create our local Modbus TCP server using Modbus slave software or mod sim software. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to do the same, but with the different software and the software we are going to use is the Dyke slave software. Okay. You can download this Dyke slave software from this website, morbusdriver.com. I will provide this link in the description of this video. You can open this link and you can download this Dyke slave Morbus slave simulator. So once you open this link, you can scroll down and you can download the Dyke slave software for windows operating system as well as you can download it for Linux operating system. I have already downloaded it and I have already extracted it. So we will open this folder here and we will go to win folder and type slave software you don't need to install okay you just have to run commands using this software and it will run your local modbus tcp server so if you scroll down on this page you will find one command to run modbus tcp server on ethernet run so it means that if you want to run your local modbus tcp server then you can use this command so we will copy this command Okay, we will open command prompt in this folder. We will paste that command here and we will press enter and you can see server started up successfully. So our local Modbus TCP server is up and running on the port number 502 and it is waiting for any connection. Okay, so we will minimize this one and we will open our modscan32 application and in the connection we will go to connect and here is the ip address of my local system which is 127.0.0.1 and the service port 502 as you can see here port number is 502 and we will press ok here okay so you can see validate master ip address accepting connection from 127.0.0.1 so our one modbus client is connected and it is reading coils from 1 to 10 which we are currently reading from modscan software if I change from coil status to holding register, you can see here read holding register from 1 to 10. Okay, so our client instead of coils reading holding register. Now, if I open my second client here, okay, let me open it parallelly. So, this is my second client. I also want to connect this client to my Dyke Slave Modbus simulator. So, I'll go to connection, connect, and then again I'll connect. Okay, so you can see there is one more connection from the same IP address and both are reading something because this is reading holding register and this is reading coil status. And if I choose here holding register, you can see, okay, now if I change the value to 34 here, it will also update on my both the client and you can also see, uh, just a moment, see write holding register from 1 to 1, okay, because we have write it something we have modified something on 40001 so that is why we have this locks right holding register from 1 to 1 okay this is stuck and we are getting modbus message timeout because this dike slave software is not running properly because of this selection so if i release this selection then it will run properly okay so this is how you can use dike slave modbus simulator to create your own local modbus tcp server with the all the functionality like coil status input status holding register and input register if you are going to use modbus slave then you can only define one function code right either you can define holding register or you you can define input status but with the dark slave software you can define everything at one place okay so if i want to read input status then also i can read input status from here so this is how you can use dark slave software Okay, and also you can test your multiple Modbus client with the Dyke Slave software because it is capable for multiple connections. Now let me disconnect this one. Okay, let me close it. Okay, so this is how you can use Dyke Slave software. Uh, we are also going to close the Dyke Slave software here. So if you still have any question or any doubts regarding Dyke Slave software and how to use it, you can comment me in the comment box. You can ask me on the Telegram, Instagram or WhatsApp and you can download this Dyke software from this website. I will provide this link in the description of this video. 
okay and in the next video we will see how you can create your local modbus rtu device in this video we have covered how we you can create your local modbus tcp server and in the next video we are going to see how we can create your local modbus rtu or slave device which connect with the com ports okay so see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and thank you